Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Brianna and this is the intersection of beauty, tech, and lifestyle. And in today's video, I am showing you all my secrets and how I get my silk press on my naturally curly hair. Now, some people might see videos and think like, hey, I can't follow this because I don't have her hair texture. That's not true. There are things that you can do a little bit differently depending on your hair texture. So make sure you check the description link down below. I'm going to list all of the products I use. If you have thin hair, fine hair, coarse hair, kinky hair, um, you know, medium coarse hair, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you exactly what products to stay away from that I list, what products you want to use if you have a certain type of hair, and then maybe if you should just use a little bit or a lot of a certain product that I mentioned. So first I want to talk about what I use to shampoo my hair with. I use Black Carbon by Straight Request. I love this shampoo. Honestly, it's amazing. It's sulfate free, so if you have color in your hair, it's safe. Um, it has tea tree and apple cider vinegar in it, so if you have any scalp problems like I do, um, eczema, psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis, whatever, you want to use this. Um, it also has activated charcoal in it, so it's great for purifying your scalp. Now, it does leave the scalp just a little bit dry. I shampoo, my first shampoo is with this. My second lather is with both of these. Now this one is the hydration shampoo from Straight Request. Um, it's a gentle cleanser, maximizes moisture, leaves your hair soft and shiny, it's color safe, it has coconut water, and it detangles. So first lather with this, second lather with both, last lather with this. If you're not washing your hair three times, you need to be washing your hair three times. I'm just saying it'll give you the best canvas to work with. I also use this um, scalp brush. It's just very like, it's silicone so it's soft and it also has textured knobs just to get the dandruff that might be stuck up. Um, so I use that. And I will link that below in the description box. Um, I use Care Care Humectic Conditioner amazing um i use this first so i put this on and i let it sit for five minutes before i use my silicone mix so this detangle my hair leave it on for five minutes keep it on and then i put my silicone mix on top and get under the dryer for 20 minutes on medium to high heat with the cap if you are not deep conditioning your hair, your hair will not stay silky straight. When your hair frizzes, it's because it's looking for moisture. So you wanna make sure that you're always putting moisture in your hair. If you choose not to use any of this, there are a couple products that I think that you absolutely should have. If your hair is thick or coarse or kinky, this right here is the best. It is Influence Thermosil. It repels moisture. It's a heat protectant. You only want to use a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean like half the size of my pinky nail. Because if you use more, you could turn into a grease ball. But just gauge it. If your hair is hella thick, then you want to use a little bit more. The second thing I absolutely love is Kenra's Smoothing Blowout Lotion. This is also for thick hair. If your hair is fine or medium, you can use the Silkening Heat Cream instead. And then the last two things I'm going to recommend are Paul Mitchell's Skinny Serum. Anybody can use this. And my last step is Silicone Mix Shine Hair Polisher. So these products are my go-to. I use them on all of my clients um, in the salon. So um, yeah, stay tuned and I will show you all exactly how I get these results. So I am starting with hair that has been in a bun for about two weeks off and on. Um, hella dry, just a mess. So I've gone ahead and shampooed and conditioned my hair with the products that I mentioned. I 
I use about two pumps of the smoothing blowout lotion from Kenra. I love this product so much. Um, it definitely keeps the frizz away. It's nice and light. It doesn't leave your hair greasy at all. And it actually does feel like lotion on your hands. So um, I don't use too, too much of it. All right, so here we're going in with the Thermoseal. I only use a little bit. Um, I use this during the damp phase and as well as before I flat iron my hair. Um, it does repel moisture, so that is basically saying it's a humidity blocker. You don't want to use too much of this, but if you have thicker hair, you can definitely use a little bit more. So I only use about half a pump of this. It is pretty heavy. So if your hair is fine or medium, just go ahead and use a silkening heat cream and skip the Super Skinny Serum as well as the Thermoseal. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your defeat Drowning by yourself, now you want to blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Nah, I'm not the problem Man, that's on you If you have thick hair, you might want to use a, um, a comb attachment. I like to use this blow dry brush that I got from Sally's. It's from the wet brand. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb once my hair is mostly dry, I go in with a tighter packed brush, a Denman brush in this case, and this just helps to really get the roots straight. Um, my hair holds water sometimes and it's kind of thick, so I just like to make sure I'm getting in there enough with the blow dryer than um, trying to like straighten the life out of my hair. I'm using a little bit of the shine polisher and then I go in with a little bit more thermoseal only at my roots um, I focus it on my roots and whatever's left over I'll just disperse throughout the rest of my hair again if your hair is extremely fine or pretty fine you don't want to use this product it is pretty heavy here I am using my Babyliss Prima 3000 flat iron I love it. It has titanium plates. If you can, um, opt for titanium plates because the heat disperses so much more evenly. Um, it's just, it makes your hair shinier. It's just an all around better flat iron than a ceramic iron, in my opinion. Um, and I personally have my flat iron set to 410 degrees. Would never hear. You've been flexing everywhere. Girl, look in the mirror. Man, you're so dirty. Yeah, you look so dirty. You were never worthy. Lately, it's you. I really want to stress that at no point should your flat iron be smoking. A little bit of steam, like light air looking stuff is fine but if you smell your hair burning that's because it is what you see here is just a little bit of steam
So I'm using my baby flat iron to get in tight with my roots. So if you want your hair just to be bone straight, you can stop here, but I am going to show you all in the next few clips how I add body, and then after that, I'm going to show you how I add even more body. So when adding body to my hair, I like to take big pieces and not even really flip my wrist, just a very deep bend. Um, just gives more movement. It helps your hair wrap better. so here is the body somebody call Megan the stallion because yes ma'am however if you would like to have a little bit more curl to your hair stay tuned because I'm gonna throw some curls in this You'll see me secure it with duck bill clips. I like these clips because they contour with your head shape so they don't leave like the markings in your hair like bobby pins would do. Yeah. 
So I am wrapping the saran wrap around my head really loosely the first one or two times um, just so that I don't create any like indentation. But once I go around my head once or twice, then I do tighten up the tension so that I can seal in all of the goodness. So I'm going under the hooded dryer for six minutes under high heat. So I'm loosely unwrapping my hair and soon you will see how much body and shine there is. I don't know what the saran wrap does, but somehow it seals in everything. I don't like to use edge control when my hairstyle is super fresh just because it gets sticky but um, if you have any edge control this will be a nice time to use it so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'd love to know below what else you all would love to see from me but until then I hope you have a blessed and happy new year